And on today's episode of We Need to Talk, we really need to talk because this is a lot. Like, this is a really lot. I don't even know where to start. Um, but we're just going to hop right in because we don't, we don't waste time. So, the topic is hoarder parties. I think I said it right. Have y'all heard of porta potties? Do you know what a porta potty is? You know the little, the little portable uh, restrooms. Whether you, you use, you, you know, you do what you gotta do, right? So kind of like that, but it's more of a. I don't even know the word to call this, but just you know what, a mess. Okay, we're not even, we're not even going to sugarcoat. It's a mess. This is definitely a topic that is for mature adults, okay? But I want to keep this video as appropriate as possible because I know that I have some younger viewers as well. And I think it's important for some younger um, people to be educated about this, you know, mostly like teenagers because when you're a teenager, you're almost there, okay? So you need to know about these things because it's really real and relevant and I don't think it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon if you get my drift. So basically there has been this has been a thing for a long time. Um and over the past few years just due to social media it has become uh more mainstream like people have basically found out more information about this topic and it has become uh, a really big topic to talk about at the same time it's still kind of kept under wraps like it's just oh let me put my phone on silent it's just one of those things it's a bit taboo right have you ever seen the really beautiful ig model chicks going on their trips to dubai right that's what this is about now let me also say there are plenty of beautiful women that go on trips that's not doing the stuff that we're about to talk about in this video. I also would like to throw in a disclaimer that I am very well aware in this day and age, plenty Instagram influencers make real money without having to compromise their morals and values. Um, being an influencer is now a legitimate career. So let's just get that straight. We're not talking about those individuals. This is something completely different. I just wanted to clear that up really fast. So, yeah. And if you are one of the ones that do the stuff that we're talking about in this video, please take no offense because, honey, I don't judge. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes and just overall to talk, to discuss this topic. So make sure y'all get your little fingers ready to hop down in those comments and discuss this, all right? So, porta potties. Porta parties, I mean. Porta parties. There are some, I was going to say gentlemen, but I don't know. I don't want to just throw that word around in this situation. There are some wealthy individuals out in Dubai that will pay young women to fly out there and get pooped on, okay? Yes, pooped on. That bitch out there lying to you, sir. I'm just in the back getting fucked up having a good time. No, you're not. You getting shit upon, for sure. For shit, the deal. Yes, yes. Them Saudi Arabians couldn't stop eating when they knew you was on your way. They said, uh, give us the Saudi Arabian platter, if you will. On the whole nine yards. And when I say on, I'm talking about on. Not only on, but in. So, like, some of these women are getting... Okay? Holding their mouths open to be... Yes. This is... This is that. You will sleep with them normally, have sex. There will be multiple people, and they will be on you after meditating, and they will eat 
on your face. Yes, you can Google it. It's called the Porti Party in Dubai. They will literally have on you and then you on you and then say, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what's the appropriate word for sh on your face. Pardon? Yes, defecating. Is that correct? Okay. So that's what they would do. Not only that, but performing and engaging in activities with uh, camels. Yes. Oh, and these are all for pay. Okay. And the payments, they range. I've heard some amounts, 50,000. I've even heard 100,000. I've even heard much lower than that. 10 bands. You know what I'm saying? There have also been women alleging that if they did not go through with all of the requests from the men in Dubai, they would not receive their full payment. So if at any time during the activities, the woman decided that she was uncomfortable or too disgusted and couldn't go through with it, then she would not receive her full payment, even if she had done half of the activities asked of her. The question is, is it really worth it? I would say no. I would say no. But we're going to watch this video of a IG model that was exposed for these activities. And how she was exposed was basically she was set up and tricked. So she was messaged from what she thought was someone that was going to pay her to fly out to Dubai and do certain activities. But it was all a setup to kind of get her to expose herself and she took the bait and she fell for it. So we're just, we're about to watch this video first and, and see, or this is like an example, okay? Cause like I said, there's a, a few different examples that I'm gonna show y'all, but exhibit A, let's just hop right into exhibit A. My name is Aliana Luciana Gonzalez and I'm 20 years old, 26 years old. I'm willing to come to Dubai to Sultan Ali. In Dubai I will have an STD check and Mr. Ali too. After that we are having unprotected sex and I will let Mr. Ali lick the humus off my feet. I will also um, uh, his virgin brother who is 13 years old. And I will let him. Wait a minute, y'all. Because I just had to take that back in. She said the brother, whom is 13 years old. The some of the stuff that she named, it was pretty. What's the word? Regular. You know, these are like common things that even the streetwalker chicks, you can walk up to them and they'll do. But like. The brother, the young little baby brother, 13, that's a baby. Like, that's a baby. Sis. You need to be under the jailhouse, period. You know, I think that what happens is a lot of the times when it comes to boys, society does not protect them or try to protect them as much as they will uh, girls. And it's just not fair. At the end of the day, a young boy and a young girl... It's the same thing. They're both children. They both deserve to be protected. The same way that we will persecute a man for messing with a young girl, it needs to be that way for women that will mess with young boys, period. It's disgusting. I'm so, I'm over it. I'm really over that. But let's continue. Let's continue. I agree to have. A virgin 30 years old brother and I will give him and I will also let Mr. Ali and Mr. Ali is paying me 50,000 US dollars for this 50,000 um, ain't worth it baby and I will receive 25,000 US dollars two weeks before I come to Dubai this is my passport. Oh, y'all, she, this lady didn't put a passport. Oh, my goodness. And Honey. thank you for having me. 
Thank you so much, Mr. Ali, for the invitation, and I can't wait to finally meet you. <sighs> okay, let's talk about desperation, okay? And I'm just going to pull up the definition of desperation really fast. So the definition of desperation that shows up on the dictionary is a state of despair, typically one which results in rash or extreme behavior. This is what you call extreme behavior. First of all, since you got God, because they didn't rec you can't even deny this. Like, you can't even deny this. You can't even say, the ones that keep it on the low low, they can deny this for the rest of their life. Only them, God, the people that they did these activities with and whoever, they, whoever else they choose to share this with will know. But if you are on camera, I mean, how could you deny it? How could you deny this? I mean, the proof is right there. This is just, this is, this is really beyond me. This is really beyond me. Now, in this video, this particular model, she didn't mention um, the other things that I spoke of in the beginning of this video that they request of the women that come out there. Um, so good for her that she didn't mention that, but this was just, just this here was enough anyway. But I want to jump back to the, the Porter party topic. These men that do that, they get off on degrading these women. And basically, it's, it's like a ritual almost. Get there. See, they do it in a group. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be like a private party and they lay there and just everybody shits on them. You know what I'm saying? That the reason they do that is not that they love to shit. To me, it's like a, a ritual, um, a highly disgusting ritual that shows how low they think of you. Like you are the bottom of their feet. That's that's what they look at you as, as trash. You know, it's waste. It's it's toxic waste, and that's why we put that shit. In the toilet okay we're not around here putting shit on our plates for a reason okay it has a designated area which is in the toilet so for someone to request to on you in your mouth on your head on your feet on your body whatever it says a lot about how they feel about you but also it says a lot about how you feel about yourself to allow them to do that to you I do feel like society plays a huge role in why some women do this, though. And I know y'all gonna be like, uh, 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 uh. Grown women need to take accountability, but y'all have to understand from a from a very young age, women are groomed and prepared to do things for money. Let's be real. Ask yourself how many times you or someone you know. Or whatever you have witnessed someone telling a woman especially beautiful women you need to get you a rich man you need to be with a rich man you need to do it happens every single day all the time and they start this they start telling girls this from a young age get you a boy that a boyfriend that got some money get you this get you that and don't get me wrong nothing in life is free it costs to live and the cost of living is getting high but the cost of living do not cost that much for you to be out here getting shitted on, period, okay? But society tells these beautiful women this, like you need to have this money. It's no reason why you're beautiful and you're poor and all of this. And that is internalized and then we, we get this. I agree to come to Dubai for one week and we'll be gifted 20K plus shopping spree to perform sexual favors this is a result of that how about we start telling young women instead of get you more money become money not saying that you don't need a partner or a companion but 
A lot of women are sent out into the world with no tools to succeed. I mean, seriously. They don't know anything about finances, about money, about how to attain the amount of money that they want other than using their looks in their body. Okay. And it's really sad, but this is reality. And I can even say from personal experience of always being told certain things growing up, I had to unlearn a lot of toxic statements that were basically told to me repetitively. You know what I'm saying? I start realizing I want my own. You know, I remember growing up being told, get you a boy, get you a boyfriend that have a job, get you a boyfriend that have a car why my my fridge just came on uh background noise but get you this get you that and i start looking up in my early 20s and i'm like i don't have i don't have i mean i used to have a job but i was like i don't have a car i don't have nothing and it was the worst feeling ever when i wanted to be done with some raggedy ass dude and i needed a ride home from work or something or a ride somewhere and i had to call them because i didn't know what else to do because, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, before y'all get to saying, oh, public transportation, I did all of that. But um, even with that, at a certain time of night where I'm from, it would stop running. So I remember having to call on somebody that I didn't want to call on because I didn't have my own shit. And that's the worst feeling ever. Nobody should have to go through that. And so that's why I am a firm believer in having your own shit. That way, whatever somebody else has is a plus. Don't get me wrong. I'm not messing with you if you don't have anything to offer because I'm too old for that. You know, finances are very important the older you get. However, we still want to maintain a level of respect because, see, all of these despicable acts that they're subjecting themselves to, they are going to pay a, a hefty cost for that. And that's a, that, go, that takes me to a whole other topic. I'm going to leave that topic about uh, teaching young girls certain things alone for this video because that's a whole other video in itself. And I'm going to start doing videos about that eventually as well. But this takes me to the next topic of stop looking at other people's lives thinking that they have everything that you want. And I know it's hard because we have social media. So you see it and it looks good, but you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. You think you think I'm going to take pictures on my very worst days? Hell no. My worst days taking a picture is the last thing on my mind. Okay, or recording what's going on in my, my, my lowest moments is the last thing on my mind. So you have to understand that people, they're, they're only showing you not even half of the picture or half of the story. You're getting a little bits and pieces for your imagination to run wild. And your imagination is thinking up all these, these beautiful La La Land stories that half the time are not real. You see somebody on a trip, you don't know what they had to do to get to that trip. Or you see somebody um, in this beautiful vacation, you don't know what, the, what they have to do when that camera shut off in order to get a flight back home. Or you see somebody's relationship and, and the pictures are beautiful, but you don't know that sis getting beat up behind closed doors and getting cheated on and gave her HIV. You don't know that. So we're going to get into some more because like I said, that clip of the girl basically posing for what she thought was going to be her sponsor and saying what she agreed to do that was nothing compared to some of this other stuff um and there's a, there's a couple of websites that um that post content about these these uh women and there's even one website, and I know this is wrong, that is responsible for reaching out to some of the girls and posing as the sponsors to get the girls to respond and fall, take the bait so that they can expose them. Honestly, I feel like it's wrong in a sense to be going through all that to expose someone's uh something that they're not proud of you know what i'm saying 
so to each his own, you know, I just, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't go through all that. I know people out here doing all type of despicable things, but I, I don't see the purpose in exposing because at the end of the day, you don't know this person's story or why they're doing it. Some people just really don't have the guidance. Some people come from a poor background and the thought of being poor, they are completely against it. And I understand that. And um, sometimes people, like I said, get desperate and they'll do anything for the money. But anyway, so here is <clears throat> some alleged confessions of the different acts that uh, this one girl has engaged in. All right, so this girl's account, she says, these guys are so rich, hate their wives, and bored with life. They are willing to pay anything for their crazy And I was crazy enough to expect the money. I've had to be, I think she meant to say accept, or they meant to type accept. But anyway, I've had to be by over 20 Saudi royalty at once. Made 40000 in two days. So it was worth it. I've literally so many times I just don't understand why they like it after the third time you get on you get used to it she goes on to say I have this with a male <coughs> in front of them now that is fucking horrible that is really horrible I'm not even gonna lie y'all Leave the dog out of this what did the dog do to deserve this I've had to stick numerous objects I've got paid and beat up as well. I'm not even going to read that one. I'm not. Some of this stuff is just beyond me. Anyway, she ends it with, so to all you ladies that are going to bash me, I'm 24 years old and I have 1 million liquid dollars in my bank account. I am now retired and can have normal sex whomever I want. Okay. One million dollars. It sounds like a lot, especially when you don't have money. But the more I learn about money, one million dollars is not a whole lot of money. It's just not. It can be for someone, but I'm just saying. To each his own. Okay. And um, depending on your spending habits and money management, it will run out quick. As far as her saying that she can have normal with whomever she wants now. I'm going to say that's a probably not true. Reason being is because these things, they have a mental effect on a person. You will not forget these things. Sometimes we block certain events out in our memory to protect ourselves. That's a whole nother psychological thing there. But for the most part, this is going to have some type of effect on you. <coughs> we don't get to get away with anything necessarily without some type of consequence or repercussion. Okay. Um. So I find that hard to believe, honestly, especially when you have to um, engage in activities like this, where you almost have to leave your body mentally to, to be able to do these things. That follows you. So when it's time for you to just have some normal, um, 
basic, <laughs> I'm gonna say basic interaction with your partner that you choose to settle down with, it may, it may be hard, it may cause some problems, but I don't know, maybe this girl will give an update one day on if it caused her problems or not. Like I said, y'all, I will not bash these women. I will not do that. Actually, I take that back. The only ones that I will bash is the ones that knowingly and willingly engage with minors and animals. That is unacceptable. But we as a society have got to do better when it comes to our young girls. Man, I got stories for days. I really got stories for days, real life stories for days about some things that I have seen or things that almost happened to me. And it's just important that we, we protect our girls and try our best to raise them up and give them the tools that they need mentally, physically, and financially to, to get out into this world and thrive. Because if not, there's no telling where they may end up. This could end up being your daughter or your sister. You know what I'm saying? Hello. I understand your terms on and the statue. And I agree on it. So let's meet up. So, or you. And we don't want that. Because this 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 right here, this shit right here, this some bull. I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is some bull. Everybody can make their own decisions, but I'm just saying, if people wasn't so damn desperate for money, they probably wouldn't be doing this. So that's why we got to get them set up to where this won't be a thing. Because you know what they say, money is the root of all evil. But I'm going to go ahead and tap out now. Y'all hop down in the comment section below and tell me what you think about this topic. All your thoughts, share it with your friends so that they can say what they think about this topic. And yeah, I'm out this thing.